Hi. There was a question about my way of drawing, how I am able to make a drawing without seemingly without measuring, but still the proportions are correct or seemingly correct. I think I make mistakes all the time, but I'm bluffing my way through it all. But uh, let's let's take a look at this uh, this drawing and you have this Madonna here and suppose I am going to make a drawing and I'm not going to delineate it so I mean the, the more or less correct way in, in, in the eyes of many people who are making drawings would be put this, to first start a line drawing Let's see something like this and first get this right and so this would be more or less the correct way according to some and then you have a construction this is very quick line sketch and if I put in more effort it would actually look like her <laughs> but that would be more or less correct to first make a correct drawing and then you can fill in light and shadow but I often just start with some um, you know with the eye and then the nose here, another eye, the mouth. And then, and then fill it in the rest. She's looking quite angry now. Uh, I don't want that. I want a friendly looking Madonna. <laughs> but, and what is the secret of not measuring and getting the proportions right? I want to give you some insights in, in how to do that. So the first thing I have to say, well, she's not really looking. As you can see, I make a lot of mistakes, which I'm correcting. Uh, <laughs> but um, the first thing to say is you need to practice a lot. And maybe you have some natural ability, which makes it easier. So that's but that's not very useful to just say that because uh, I'm just uh, directing you into the woods and you wouldn't have any reasonable explanation on how to do this. So let me put this here to be able to draw a little better. So first I'm looking at this eye because that's usually a starting point and then I visualize the shape of this eye more or less in my mind and I'm going to make a separate video about that but if you visualize this shape in your mind and you are drawing you can get more or less that shape in your in your drawing I see now that I've drawing it a little bit too much to that side but I'm going to focus on her face anyway so I'm not going to get that on this paper and now I want to draw this part of the eye socket so I have to think by myself about the shape of this I try to look at these shapes and I try to visualize in my mind um, how the shape of my hatching will be so just look at this shape look at how it is positioned uh, relative to this one and then you can get this on the paper more or less I'm not saying it's really accurate but it's enough to go further then we have this shape here, sort of triangular shape. 
I, I visualize it in my mind and while I have it in my mind I can direct the pencil on the paper in such a way that the hatching on the paper will be like that shape. How do you practice that? Just draw, just draw a triangular shape like this and then try to visualize this in your mind and and try to make a hatching like it. It's not exactly like it. It's not a hundred percent like it. And so we can make more shapes. This is just a random shape. Try to visualize this in your mind and try to um, create a hatching with this. This is not very accurate. You see, I'm, I'm not very good in this, <laughs> but this is the technique I'm, I'm using often. Well, this is too easy, but let's say you make a circular shape. This is, this is just the, the model. Try to create a hatching, replica copying, replicating this shape. It's not perfect, it doesn't have to be perfect, but the intention is to train your mind and your hand coordination to get this right. I'm, I'm, I'm practicing right now, this is a bit strange shape. Anyway, a circular shape. I think it often works better with uh, triangular shapes, whatever, but this is the way to approach these kinds of hatchings. Look at the overall shape of an area and try to visualize it in your mind and create a hatching that copies that more or less. And so I do this eye and this and this all in more or less the same manner. Visualizing the overall shape of an area and try to hatch that, create a hatching with that. Now I want to know the position of the nose. And oftentimes in my mind I think of this tri triangular shape. So I'm not even, usually I'm, I'm, I'm not even drawing these uh, help lines, but in my mind, this is how it works. So there is this line, this line, and here is the underside of the nose, and then I can look, that's quite easy, where it should be more or less. And there you have the position of the nose. Then you can look for the mouth underneath. But this is the most important, the most difficult, oftentimes, the position of the eyes to, uh, relative to each other and the nose. And then I can draw the mouth using the same technique of visualizing the hatching that I need. And I just looked at, you know, where it would be. Uh, underneath the eye and here. I, I didn't really measure this, but you can just look at, oh, this, this mount is more or less just as high as this part of the nose. So you can just measure a little bit here, here. And another thing is to just correct things as you go along. I mean, oftentimes when you look at my videos, you will see that the positions of certain features gets changed during making of a drawing. So uh, I, I look at this eye and I see it's not correct. I mean, uh, I add some more hatchings to make it more correct. Um, so you are constantly correcting and refining the drawing and 
oftentimes you draw relatively light in the beginning and as you go along you, you, you can add more darker hatchings which are more dominant so you don't really see the, the corrected hatchings so the, 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 the lines on the paper, the hatchings on the paper that were actually not correct in every way you just draw over them and uh, in the end the more dominant hatchings will be the ones that are more in line with the actual proportions if, if you keep in mind that you keep on correcting things so I'm, I'm, I'm adding accentuations here and there so you have this general hatching that I made in the beginning and as you can see this technique is not perfect this one very simple shape it's not perfect this this round shape well I made a really a mess of it here there's not one single one that's really good this is in the direction of this so I'm not saying that you have to be able to do this in a perfect way but if you can get a little bit close to how it more or less should look like and uh, the organic shapes of a face are not like these more or less geometrical uh, shapes so um, I'm constantly um, refining the drawings so I, it, it's not that I visualize this shape and that I have it perfectly in one go on the, on the drawing paper that's not the case but it's a good starting point and from there you can proceed and refine it and then I, I, I look at this dark background and then also I try to visualize more or less how it should be shaped and here I need to refine this because her face is a bit strange here And as I go along, I, I add more hatchings, I add more accentuations, sometimes I change the position of certain features and slowly a face emerges. And let's see, I'm just working on this one. I'm adding hatchings to add shadows. I'm, I'm looking now at this drawing and I'm thinking what's what's wrong with this drawing? It's not not totally correct. So I'm I'm changing this this line here. And Let's see, there's a shadow area here. The expression of her eyes is not correct. So I add more hatchings, more darker areas. And slowly it's getting closer to what she actually looks like on the painting. But you can see I'm actually correcting all the time all kinds of features. So And it's just a way of working through this. And I'm looking at her now. Let's see. Here I am adjusting the 
position of the corner of her mouth a bit. So as you go along you can add some intensity to what you are actually putting on the paper so the shape of her face gets more accurate. And as you can see, it's, it's not really very clean drawing if you want that. Maybe you, you, you need another approach, but in my way of drawing with these kind of hatchings, and you know how I draw, if you look at my other videos, this is, I think, a nice little explanation of the approach. And uh, let's see. And now I'm just adding some shadow. But um, I think you get an idea of how I approach it now. I'm not going to work too much. This is just a little sketch to give a demonstration. And uh, I didn't want it to look too bad. So I worked a little bit more on this one. But you see I had to... Uh, adjust all kinds of shapes and that's that's the trick also just work through it until it looks like uh, what you actually want to draw and I hope this gives you an, an, an insight in my approach and uh, if you have any further questions leave them in the comments I can uh, perhaps make other videos if I know what you would like to know what you would like to hear about my approach. Thank you very much for watching.